Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Christian here, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a review slash first impressions type video, and it's going to be on this product right here. And the product that we're gonna be putting to the test today is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. Kinda to me, it just looks like a big old nail polish bottle. I don't know, but it just does. Maybe that's just me, who knows? It says that it's medium to full buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish. Advanced multi-reflective color pigments play with the light to instantly even skin tone and reduce the appearance of imperfections. Contains an electrolyte balance system, a carefully combined complex of ionized water, advanced hyaluronic acid, and essential minerals to help hydrate and nourish for skin that glows with healthy radiance. And it also says it's fragrance free. It says shake well before use, using your fingers or brush 33, blend over face, building with more coverage as needed. Okay, so I don't have brush number 33, so I guess we'll try it with the fingers like it says. I went ahead and picked mine up in the shade light because it seemed like a pretty good match for me. So when you open it up, it has kind of like a, a dropper system that's becoming, I guess, this is something that you're starting to see in more and more foundations. I don't notice I don't notice a smell right off the bat. So what we're gonna do when we're putting this to the test, I think I'm gonna try two things. We're gonna be putting this product to the test today and I think I'm gonna do like a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna do half of my face with my fingers like it says on the back and I'm gonna do the other half with my favorite brush at the moment which is the Morphe M439. I am gonna go ahead and prime my face. All right, guys, if you want to see how this foundation is going to work out, then just keep on watching. Okay, so it is 11-12. Okay, so we're going to be putting this foundation to the test. It does say to give it a good shake. I am not going to go in with any concealer first. I want to see what kind of coverage this provides on its own. So I'm going to just dot it on half of my face first, I guess. Um, that's something I never really do. I never really use my fingers to apply my foundation, but it says that that's the best way to do it. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that did absolutely nothing at all, really. You know what? I'm not about this finger light. So I applied it a, a layer with my finger or with my fingers like it's said to do and I'm not really feeling it at all actually. So I'm going to apply a little bit more on this half but this time I'm going to use uh, but this time I'm going to use a beauty sponge to see if that kind of makes a difference. It says medium to full with buildable coverage. So we're going to go in with a third layer still on the same half of my face. And we're going to try this again. I don't like it. My initial reaction, I don't like it. My redness has been slightly neutralized at this, my redness has been slightly neutralized at this point from this side versus this side. Um, we're gonna take the other half with my Morphe M439. I am a brush girl anyway, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'll like it better with a pl when applied with a brush. So I'm actually just gonna stipple some of that just directly onto the brush. So I do like the way that the first layer applied better with a brush as opposed to the finger. 
a brush leaves a lot of brush streaks. So I'm going to take it back honestly on this side with the sponge. This is the max foundation that I am going to put on my face. I applied three layers or I went back in three times so I guess I applied three layers. It is buildable. I will give it that. Like it did build up nicely. Nothing looks, it did build up nicely. Nothing looks cakey. Nothing looks, it's sitting on the skin okay. It's So it's sitting on the skin okay. It did not apply, in my opinion, full coverage foundation. It did not apply a full coverage, in my opinion. All of my acne in this area is still very visible. The redness on my chin is still very visible. These little guys up here are still very visible. And these little guys right here are still very visible. Now, to be fair, I've never met a foundation that covers things up completely. You know, you cannot cover texture. The issue is not the texture. The issue is that there is still a lot of redness happening in these areas. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do concealing. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else done. Give this a little bit of time to sink into my skin, see how it looks after about 10, 15 minutes. See if any oxidation is gonna happen. And then when all of my makeup is completely on, I'll come back and let you know what my final thoughts are for the moment. Makeup has been completed and I will go ahead and say that I actually do once all of my makeup is on, once the foundation had a few minutes to kind of set into my skin, I actually don't hate it. So my initial reaction to it was, as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say my initial reaction is not my current feeling towards the foundation. Of course, I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I'm gonna see how it wears, see if it breaks apart on me. I'm gonna see if it accentuates any of my dry patches, if it accentuates my fine lines. I'm gonna see that if it does start to wear off, does it do it in a really nice kind of, you know, subtle, your face still looks pretty way, or does it do it in like a hideous, what have you done to your face type way? <coughs> So I do like it. It is comfortable to wear. It is luminous. Is I do think that the finish is a little bit more natural. And maybe that's why the whole full coverage thing threw me off. Because I'm used to full coverage foundations not necessarily being on the more natural side. With that being said, I still don't know that I would classify this as a full coverage. I think I would still say that it's more on the, the medium side than full coverage. It, look, it feels good. It looks good in my opinion. So I'm just going to put it to the test throughout the day. We're just going to check it out. And I will check back in with you in a little bit just to kind of see what is happening here. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so I've had this makeup on now. I'm not exactly sure. An hour and a half maybe. It is... It is 1.14. I'm about to leave my house. Okay. So far, I like the foundation. I definitely like it more than my original reaction to it. It does almost give like a luminous type feeling to it. I did not apply like a luminous or a hydrating foundation, but I do feel that my skin does have some really nice glow to it. I didn't even apply my normal setting sprays or fixing mists or anything like that yet. So, so far I am liking the foundation after about an hour and a half, maybe two hour wear. So once I go out and come back in again after, you know, eating or shopping or whatever it is that we're going to go do, I'll come back in and do another checkup with you guys. But so far, so good. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and bring this video to a close. My final first impression on this product is I actually like it. And it's crazy because when I was applying it this morning, I did not at all. Not even a little bit, not even kind of sort of. But after I put the rest of my makeup on and after it set into my skin, after it set in my skin for a little bit, I actually do like the way it looks. I think it has worn nicely. Uh, I think it has worn nicely throughout the day, better than even some of my current favorite foundations, if not better, just as good as. So I actually like this. I have high hopes for this. It's actually making me want to go try the concealer and the primer that's kind of in the same range. So when I look at my skin, of course my laugh lines have started to come out and play a little bit, but that typically happens with every foundation that I have. I have very dominant, like pronounced smile lines. So foundations throughout the day find their way to foundations throughout the day just kind of seep on in there. It did a pretty decent job. It did a pretty decent job not clinging to my dry patches. 
I mean, it is clinging a little bit to my dry patches on the top of my forehead in this area. But again, that's not an uncommon thing for me either. I do look a little bit on the more luminescent side. I don't hate it. Um, kind of figure out the best way to apply it because it says fingers and I hated it with the fingers. But I do give this two thumbs up as of right now. I do think it's worth checking out. I think it might be good for drier skin. Oily skin, I'm probably gonna say pass on it. I do have drier skin and I am looking a little bit on the dewy side wearing this particular foundation. I mean, I do, I give it two thumbs up. I think it's nice. I think it wore beautifully. I think that if you're like me and you buy it and the first time you put it on and you're like, oh no, just go ahead and finish your makeup once it's set into the skin because if I had judged it just on original application, I would have wiped, it. like honestly, it was at the point where I just wanted to wipe it off, say screw it and go on about my day. But all in all, I think so far it's a good foundation and to test it out a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. The first being giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. The second being going ahead and leaving me a comment about maybe another product that you would like to try out. There's a different product that you want me to try out, another find you're interested in seeing in action, just kind of let me know. And I will hop right on that for you guys. And the third thing, if you did like this video and if you did like spending a little bit of time with me today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until I see you next time, you guys be safe out there. Bye.